Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? It's your man Lennox here. Um, absolutely beautiful day here. Late May, Ocean City, Maryland. I'm not going to say I got the bay all to myself, but it's not going to be too crowded. Memorial Day weekend, nice weather. Had a little bit of fog, but all that's gone, man. It's supposed to be upper 70s today, light winds, and there's fish to be caught. So, um, Kristen had to stay at the house for some stuff, but I didn't. So, I'm heading out here today. All kinds of stuff going on. Got rockfish and bluefish at the uh, Route 50 bridge and the South Jetty. Got flounder in the thoroughfare and behind Astigue. Not great, but okay. And some flounder at the South Jetty uh, on the outside. So we'll see if I can find anything or everything today. But I can't pass up this weather, man. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I got it all. I got it all. So got the deadly tackle gear down here, the new rods. Got one of the JPRs ready to roll. Big thingamajig, big thingamajig ready to rock. Um, deadly double ready to rock. And then a jig rig ready to rock too for that South Jetty. So go down here, give it a shot, see what's up. Thanks for clicking in. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe. Got any questions, ask those in the comments below, man. Let's get it. All right, I'm all set up. I'm gonna head to the South Jetty first. Uh, end of the outgoing tide here. Flounder fishing has been better on the end of the outgoing as long as the water's clean. Hopefully that water on the outside of the jetty is a little bit cleaner than back here, but it's clean enough. Um, all the party boats are out today, so hopefully sea bass fishing is better than it has been. And we'll see what we can do on this jetty, man. Let's get it. Here we go. Sea Rocket Adventures, man. New location, right? New location right here. Sea Rocket Adventures right here. Dorchester Street. Oceanic Pier. Oceanic Pier now open 24-7, guys. 24-7 through the end of the summer. And there, that's where we're headed. All right, man. All right, fishing this South Jetty. I'm using what's called a, what I call a jig rig. It's a couple of uh, half ounce jig heads. I got a chartreuse up top. I got a red snagged in my shirt. I got a red down at the bottom. I'm gonna tip these with a gulp. I'm gonna chuck them in there as close as I can to the rocks. I'm just gonna jig it back to the boat. I uh, did this with Captain Jason Mumford a couple of weeks ago, TV show on right now, hooked on OC, and we did really, really well. Water's much cleaner out here in the ocean on the other side of the jetty, um, way more than it was in the bay. So put a couple of gulps on here, tip it with some minnows and see what happens. All right, getting this gulp ready. Half ounce jig head up top, through the tip of the nose, bring it down the back a little ways, pop it out the top, push it up past the hook holder. There we go, it's a tough one. And then tip this with a minnow. Big old fat minnow here. Get them by the back of the head, tip of the lips, that's it. And I'm gonna go white gulp on the bottom with this red. Same thing, tip of the nose, out the tip. That's a three inch gulp. Pass the hook holder. Got another minnow. Tippity tip, ready to go. Jig head minnow, jig head minnow. Let's go. There's a little one. All right, we'll start with that. 16 inches still, but that ain't 16 inches. Good start though, we'll take it. Gotcha. That's a better fish. Still gonna flip them. All right. All right, they're looking at red one so far. Two fish in like three minutes on that red with the white tipped with a minnow. I don't think he's making it either. 
15 on that one. 15 inches on that guy. Beautiful. All right, one drift and uh, two throwbacks. Not a bad start. Water's nice and clean. Um, had some guys from Sunset Marina that were out here fishing right alongside me. They just headed back in. They had two keepers, so see what we can do, man. Off to a great start so far. All right, little switcheroo. I lost my jig rig, um, and I don't feel like tying another one up because he's fisher biting, so I'm switching to the deadly double. Already got one ready to go. Same thing, man. A gulp or an otter tail tipped with the minnow, and then just a bigger gulp up top. Chuck it in there and see what happens. I knew I got a bite. Son of a gun. Throwback number three. At least there's some fish around. That time, white deadly double. When you're flounder fishing this jetty, inside or outside, the object is to get your rig as close to the rocks as possible without getting snagged in them all the time. Um, there are some fish out here on the flat in the sand. There's a little bit of structure off, off of the jetty and off of the rocks. But most of the fish are hugged up there tight to the rocks where the protection and the bait is, right? Um, so that's what I've been doing. I've been casting in there. I've, I've actually lost two rigs because I went a little bit too far, got it stuck in the rocks, and obviously had to uh, pull it out and didn't, didn't have the luck getting it back to me. So I'm switched to the deadly double. Haven't gotten snagged again. Got that one more throwback. Tide's about to switch, and I think once it switches, I'm going to go down to the tip and try and catch some bluefish or a rockfish or something on a thingamajig. Um, but three throwbacks, I'll take it. Um, love to get a keeper, man. Uh, 16 inches right now still, and then on June 1st it goes to 17 and a half. So that's a that's a pretty big increase as far as the size limit goes. Still going to be four fish per person, uh, and still going to be open until the end of the year. But object when you're fishing these jetties is close to the rocks as possible, and then just let it drift away until you stop getting bites, stop feeling structure, and then do it again all while keeping yourself a safe distance. It just doesn't feel like a flounder. It just feels like a little bluefish or something. a little teeny flounder. Aggressive little flounder came up in the water column, but I'll take it. Went for the top hook on that orange gulp, white deadly double. Still biting, man. Let's go back in there. that time that fish ate it and dropped it and then came back again man these little cookie cutter like 13 to 15 inch fish but target species acquired baby target species acquired whoa 
and a pretty good bite for him right now. Flounder, Paralichthys dentatus. See ya. Got a bite. Another bite. At the end of this outgoing tide, man, they're they're starting to nibble. They're short biting. They're small fish, but whatever. Bait's gone. Son of a gun. Man, they are biting. They are biting fast and furious right now, man. Just cast in there again. Cast in there again. Everyone chasing it halfway from the rocks to the boat. Dropped it again. He ate it again and took off. You can tell by the gulp, my gulp being pulled down the hook here. That was like this. Little teeny minnows are working. Keep at it. Surfing USA, baby. Another 14 incher. Oh, bimini release. Can't complain though, man. They're biting. Man, Shorty wanted that gulp. Look at that. I got to throw him on a tape measure. I got to put him on the tape measure. See, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to put him on the tape. See what we're dealing with here. He engulfed that five inch swimming mullet. I still think we're a little bit outside, but let's give it a check. Man, 15 and a half, 15 and a half again. Thank you, brother. Thanks a lot. We'll see again. He ain't gonna make it either. 15, son of a gun. Gotten a little aggressive here over the last probably half hour, man. Nice fishing, love it. And look at that backdrop. That is beautiful, baby. All right, man, that tide switched <clears throat> and the fish shut off, so. Let's go see if there's anything on the tip of this jetty. Been some bluefish, some stripers around, so incoming tide, we might be able to throw a thingamajig at them and hook one up. Let's check it out. Got one. Nice rockfish. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, baby. All right, man. Nice fish. I don't know if he's going to make it. Not sure if he'll make it or not, but I'm looking for 28, less than 31. 
I got this much space for that thing to land in, but nice fish. Let's check them out. About pinched your tail. 27. 27 inches, but there's bigger ones down there. Let's go. 27, baby. Nice. Bluefish too, holy smoke. Oh jeez. He ate it like two feet from the boat. Oh wow man. Crazy. Wow, this bluefish destroyed that. Holy. I don't know if I push record or stop or what, but just got a 25-inch bluefish out here on the tip of the jetty. Two fish and two casts with the old thingamajig. That bluefish tore it up, so let's put a new tail on. Real simple. Go through the middle of the body. Go about as far as where the hook will point out around that bend. Come out the middle of the top. Push it up past the hook holder. Done deal. Ready to go. There's my guys, Big Bird and Sean. Got some big old stripers. Sean's got a big one on. Yeah, baby! Let's go take a look. Double header. <laughs> yeah, let's see that bird. The double header. Pretty work. Oh, no, nice work, fellas. <laughs> yeah. There they go, man. The men, the myth, the legends. They bit like a bluefish. Big ass bluefish. A big ass bluefish. Big old bluefish, buddy. Let's leave him hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Damn. That's a stud, folks. That's a 33. Let's see here. Zero. That's a 33 inch bluefish there, folks. That is a stud. Damn. Oh, yeah. That is a big old bluefish, man. I'm not eating bluefish, so I'm going to let him go. But that's a stud. Holy smokes. Yeah. Fueled up. 
Um, productive day so far, man. I'm, I got a couple of drifts in me, so I'm going to hit the thoroughfare and try a couple of drifts because this back bay water with this incoming tide has got some really nice clean water coming into it. See if I can't catch a keeper. But even if not, man, I've had a heck of a day. Um, but while I'm here, guys, Sunset Marina, real easy to get to, convenient for everything you need down here. It's my old stomping grounds. I opened up this store back in the early uh, 2000s. And now Brian Minty, who you've seen me fishing with a bunch, is running that store. Does a great job. The folks here on the on the a dock do a fantastic job there for fuel. So you can come in here, dock the boat, send somebody up to get your ice and bait and deadly tackle and sunset provisions. Get it fueled up right there at that gas dock. They've also got diesel down here on B dock. Um, and if you call them ahead of time, they'll meet you down there. So Sunset Marina here, a great option for getting fuel and everything you need for a day of fishing here in Ocean City. Um, but heading back out here, beautiful, beautiful day, man. Uh, right after Memorial Day weekend, but not real crowded. Um, caught those throwback flounders on the other side of the jetty. Real nice bluefish, like uh, uh, probably one that was about 24, 25, and then a 33. That was a jumbo bluefish uh, on the big thingamajig. And then that one striper, about 27 and a quarter or so, but just under keeper size at 28 inches. So I'm going to run up here to the third fair, do a couple drifts, and then call it a day. Absolutely gorgeous. Up here in the third fair, man, beautiful drift. Got a little bit of a southeast wind, incoming tide, going along at about 0.75 knots. That's perfect for me. I'm gonna give this maybe, I don't know, I'll give this a half hour, 45 minutes, and then call it a day. But great day so far, let's see if we can make it even better. Chartreuse deadly double right on his head, baby. That thing wasn't in the water for 15 seconds. And there you go. Wow. We'll see what happens. All right. Yet another 15 and a half inch flounder. But I'll take it. Stuff's working. All right, there we go, man. Great day of fishing here in Ocean City. I'm gonna give it about five more minutes, but unless something happens here up in the thoroughfare, it's been a great day. Started off on that south jetty on the outside, caught maybe, I don't know, nine or 10 throwback flounder. One or two I measured, but they were 15, 15 and a half. Um, went out to the tip of the jetty when that tide changed. Caught a nice rockfish, 27 or so inches. And then those two bluefish, man, that was pretty awesome. The one bluefish was probably, I don't know, 24, 25. But the other one was 33, big old fat bluefish. A lot of fun catching them on these rods. Um, I borrowed Kristen's JPR and did the damage with that big thingamajig. And then up here in the third fair, one throwback, 15 and a quarter or so. Um, so once that limit changes to 17 and a half, there'll be a lot of throwbacks back in this bay. But weather cooperates like this, water stays nice and clean, gonna see some good fishing. As always, drop those comments, any questions down below. Uh, if you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate y'all being there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, social media, man. We like you guys tagging along. Fishing OC on Facebook. I Fishing OC on Instagram. Nightly Fishing Report at FishingOC.com. And if you want to buy any of this gear, we're using Deadly Doubles. Our shirts, our Back to Blue shirts are on there. Big thingamajigs, Roy Rigs, which... Uh, uh, Sean and Big Bird were using, catching a bunch of rockfish on the tip of the jetty. That's all deadly-tackle.com. See you next vid. Lennox out. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. Say I'm